Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. This week we will be talking about some new core releases, another Macintosh core, justifier fixes to the PlayStation core, and more. So let's get to it. There is a new SD card migration utility developed by Natrox. This utility allows you to migrate a current SD card to a new one, so you won't have to completely set up a new SD card from scratch. This utility can migrate current SD cards to other ones of bigger and smaller sizes than the original. Go check out the Mr. FPGA forums and GitHub for complete install instructions. Prototype PCB of the JAMA Himitsu board have been posted. This is the Saru version of the board. The JAMA Himitsu is an I.O. board for Mr. with JAMA connectors. You can attach this board to an arcade cabinet. There are two versions, the Saru and the Kami. The Saru version is a simplified and lower cost version of the two. The Kami version will include direct video, a USB hub, and a video amplifier. That version is also available for pre-order on Kofi. Both the designs will be open sourced, and if you want more information, you can join the Discord server dedicated to the boards. A core for the arcade game Crystal Castles is available for download from GitHub. It was developed by Enceladus from the Mr. FPGA forums. Crystal Castles is an arcade game by Atari released in 1983. You control a bear that needs to collect gems scattered throughout an isometric stage. The game used a trackball for controls, and the core supports trackballs via snack too. For now, it looks like you have to download the core manually, but scripts like the insert coin script might download it for you. On GitHub, the developer describes how to wire a trackball controller so you can build your own. But a USB trackball mice should also work. Pierco has gotten sound fix for Express Raider. Now the core is officially available and you can update your mister now to obtain it. Potego is concentrating on the stability of the Outrun core. Right now, too many users are affected by some instability issues. It looks like the sprite hardware of the game is very taxing on FPGAs. A frame buffer for the sprite seems to be the solution, but this should also make the core more accurate because the hardware also used a sprite frame buffer. If you want more technical details, you can check out the Twitter thread Potego has describing exactly how the arcade hardware works. You can also check out his Patreon for even more info. User Binary Bond 007 on GitHub has a Mac 2 core available to install on your Mister. It's a port of the software emulator Basilisk 2. This core uses hybrid emulation. Some parts are done with software emulation, while some other parts are using the FPGA hardware on the DE10 Nano. The Mac 2 was an Apple computer that was released in 1987, a little over a year after the Mac Plus, which Mr. officially supports. With this core, you should be able to run more modern operating systems and software and games. You can also use the core to mount virtual hard disks that are used for the Mac Plus core. This is helpful for getting files into the Mac Plus core, but it is not recommended to boot a Mac Plus virtual hard disk with this core. Mr. Addons has a Mr. Cade Admin Buttons breakout board available for purchase. This breakout board offers an easy way to connect dedicated on screen display, pause, and reset buttons to Mr. If you're a Mr. Cade owner and are looking for a way to easily get to those buttons, then check out the product page on MrAddons.com. IDE support and new Tandy graphics modes are now official for the PCXT core. Now with the IDE support, it is much easier to mount a hard disk drive. So downloading test builds is no longer required to get these features. With the IDE support, it is much easier now to mount a hard disk drive image. Before, you needed to run a separate program outside the core to get it working. Now mounting a hard disk image works just like other cores. And the new graphics modes that were added should make Tandy computer fans happy. In addition to these new features, we also have these other updates. There's a cycle accurate mode for the CPU at 4.77 MHz and other CPU speeds. There's also creative music system and Sound Blaster FM support. It's important to note that this new update to the core also requires the main Mr. software to be updated too. 
You also have to update your ROMs to new ones that support the new XT IDE BIOS. There have been major fixes to Justifier support on the PlayStation Core. If you see my video dedicated to the GunCon 3, I showed how buggy the Justifier support was. The accuracy was way off on most games and I couldn't reliably reload off screen. Robert, the developer, has implemented fixes for these issues, so we should be able to reload easily and have much better accuracy. I personally haven't tested this out yet, but many users on the Mr. FPGA Discord were able to test and confirm that things are working much better. These fixes also work with guns connected through Snack. Robert also fixed an issue that would make some games start up randomly. This was thanks to his video timing test. Some games affected are Internal Section, Next Tetris, Team Buddies, and Arcade Fun. Both the GunCon update and the video timing test fixes are not official yet, but you can download some test builds from Discord to test the changes out yourself. Another miscellaneous Mr. Fixes and updates are for the Joust 2 core, the developer Birdie Bro fixed swap auto op and advanced dip switches. This was thanks to Cold699 noticing the issues. The framework was also updated. For the C64 core, there are SID sound chip improvements, T65 and CIA updates from Jayurko, and other tweaks and fixes. The VIC 20 core has added Mega Cart support. This was adopted from Robinson's implementation. And for the main Mr. Software, there's an INI option for permanent controller assignments to a specific player. A new Mr. Command was added that controls volume, hard disk support for the PCXT core was added, page up and page down buttons were added to the controller in the Linux console, a debug print of your current config can be created that should help with wrong settings. And there were other tweaks and fixes. That's it for other updates. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. Developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. So that's it for this week's episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.